This video is about the relationship between pressure and volume. I'm going to be changing the volume of the air inside this syringe, but before I do, I'm going to put a cap on the syringe so that air cannot enter or leave. So right now I have the air that's in, inside between the black end and the blue end. That air is constant. We can't let air in. Air will not, will not, be, rele will not be released. I'm going to pull the plunger. I'd like for you to observe the marshmallows. I'm expanding the volume inside the container, which lowers the pressure. And as the pressure is lowered and the volume expands, you can see the marshmallows are trying to get larger. And the reason they're getting larger is because I'm lowering the pressure by increasing the volume and the air inside the marshmallows tries to get out. You see me shaking a little bit because I'm pulling pretty hard uh, to pull that plunger out. So I'm going to let the plunger back in. It's going in on its own because the air from the outside is pushing it in and you see the, the marshmallows are getting smaller again. So as I decreased the volume, the pressure increased, so the marshmallows got smaller. Once again, increasing the volume, you can see the marshmallows get larger because the air inside them is trying to get out since the pressure inside the container is less. And again, vice versa, they get smaller. I always like to say this is kind of a swell demo. <laughs> yeah, let's get swell, swell demo. Anyway, so the um, relationship looks like this. As the volume was going up, the pressure was going down. So they are what we call an inverse, inversely related there. It's a, if one thing, one variable goes up while the other goes down, that's known as an inverse proportion, inversely proportional relationship. The temperature didn't change. All right, so that is known for the last few hundred years as Boyle's Law. The pressure and volume are inversely proportional.